a picture of how intense and devastating the Israeli airstrikes were in Rafah can be seen on Block M of Yibna District. Six homes hit and destroyed, at least three people killed, dozens more injured. Ziad El Absi's home is in ruin. All that is left is a pile of rubble which includes a crushed TV set and a mangled bicycle. It is a house beyond repair. His three sons, ages 2 to 20, died when a bomb crashed through his house in the middle of the night. All he has left now are scraps of memories. All I want to know is what did I do to Israel? What did these innocent kids do to deserve all this? El Absi, his wife, and four daughters were all wounded in the attack. His wife is in a hospital in Egypt in a coma. He desperately wants to visit her but can't because of restrictions on the border. I don't know if she's going to live or die. That's all in God's hands. The family cat was the only one in the house who escaped injury. But these days she is so frightened that she won't go outside. Right next door, El Absi's neighbor has a similar story, a destroyed house and questions of why. This is wrong for us to have been hit like this. Now we have to live on the street. This is all I have to say. We didn't have to travel far outside of Yibna district to find out what caused all of this damage and killed so many people. Just one kilometer away, we found this unexploded bomb dropped by an Israeli warplane. The Israelis were targeting the tunnels in this area, but bombs like this also landed on and killed a lot of innocent people. Nobody here in Yibna can be considered lucky. The scars of war surround them. But among the destruction, Oday Al Kurd's house is still standing. His wife and children are okay. We have to be thankful for surviving this time. But God knows, it may be fate for us to die in another airstrike. That is our luck. We wait until we become a number on Israeli television. Ziad Al Absi doesn't know how he will move forward in life. Nothing, he says, can comfort him. Not money not another house. He has lost his three most prized possessions. Todd Bear, Al Jazeera, Rafa in southern Gaza.